Hello guys, and welcome back to Jellyfish Gamer 25. So, um, it may not be Thursday. <laughs> it is Friday. Um, or is it time travel? It's not. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get this to you on Thursday. Um, yeah, i got a lot of stuff happening. Um, but, I have done some hobby this week. And now, I believe there was a forfeit. Alright, yeah, Goose, I, I got your forfeit. Um, I'm going to work on that, I've got some ideas, so I'm not going to be able to do it within a week, um, but I have got some ideas, I just need to find out what I'm looking for, because, yeah, you've asked me for a goose, uh, well, you'll see what you're going to get for Necromunda, um, yeah, so guys, I'll go into an update of what I've done this week, so I have done some hobby, great news, and uh, here you go. Okay guys, so this is what I've been up to this week, so I have finished Grendel Grendelson, Gren Grendel Grendelson, not Burlock, yeah. I was calling him something else, but anyway, I've finished him. So, Goose, haha, there has been some hobby. Yeah, but that isn't all, guys. So, I've done Grendel Grendelson for a game me and Goose are having, but I've also managed to get done the Knight's Armager. So, these guys were so much fun to build and paint. As you can see, they're quite big beasts. Um, I got these in the set, the Forge Bane set. Um, I've left it so you can move stuff around on them. So you can like move their guns and stuff. He says as he can't move them because he's paint slightly dried. And I've obviously because you get the choice between the melter gun and the heavy stubber, uh, you can effectively just swap and change. So you can just take that out, and I can just take that out and pop the heavy stubber on. But as we're not doing the one-handed thing, <laughs> the second one as well. So I've got two of them done. Uh, well, there's only two in the pack, but I'm quite happy with these guys. Uh, not used them yet, so I'm looking forward to using them against Goose at some point. He reckons he'll destroy them. I doubt. So what have I got to move on to? Well, that's it, guys. It's decision time. So I've got mine there. I'll ignore the highlights. But I do have the Thunderfire Cannon to do. Uh, I have a few other bits and pieces in terms of the Necrons left from the Forge Bane set. And I also have a few bits and pieces of Chaos Cultist Gang for Necromunda that I've just been sorting out. So, there's a few things to decide, but I will get these done, and I will come back to you. Cheers, guys. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I've done some hobby this week. I've done Grendel, I've done the Night Armagers. Uh, undecided on what I'm going to work on next. Uh, some of you may be wondering, where the hell is the battle report? So, trying to stitch that together, it didn't really work. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to film a new battle report for you guys. Um, I'm actually going to play a game of The Hobbit. Um, with... Joe, and I've got also uh, a game lined up with, uh, well, when I get around to it, sorry Tom, uh, with Tom, um, apologies Tom, I've been a little busy if you're watching this, um, so I've got some games lined up, I'm also seeing Gooseman on Saturday uh, to play some games of Necromunda at Warhammer World, so the Flying Squirrels, the Escher Gang, will be back out, um, we, uh, we can't film at Warhammer World, um, I appreciate they don't want us to do that, so what I'm going to try and do is do some pictures and do a little narrative overview of what happened during the game. Having said that, if it doesn't work, we'll see what you guys think. Um, thanks for staying tuned, guys. Um, bit of a short one this week, but yeah, hopefully you'll have uh, some Hobbit battle reports and some 40k battle reports, and if I can convince Goose, maybe an Echo Wonder one. Alright, so see you soon, guys, and uh, bye.